good things and I have some I don't know let's start with this this is the Becca ombre rouge eyeshadow palette I've had this for a while and I've used it quite a bit I actually got rid of my um, urban decay um, what was that ultimate naked basics I like this palette I think it's really good um, I got rid of my um, dose of colors baked brown not because I didn't like it I actually really loved it but this was a better variation for me, and so uh, this is what I'm going to definitely keep. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Okay, as you can see, I've done some damage on it. I'm not sure what to do with this. I, I mean, it's a basic neutral palette, but I have other neutral palettes that I enjoy more, and I think I'm going to pass this along. I don't know. I guess I, I think I am. This is the vacation mode from ColourPop. It's a great cool tone palette. I really enjoyed this one. I wore it um, quite a bit uh, during the rotation. I like this one. I'm going to keep it. This is the I Love Sari Saucy palette. I love this palette. I wore it quite a bit. I'm going to keep it. These are some ColourPop blushes. I'm not ColourPop. Coastal Scents. These are good blushes, um, but if I'm really honest with myself, I have some Tarte blushes that I prefer more. Um, I, this is definitely going to be in a, you know, try it again, see if I really want to keep it type situation. Then I have my Anastasia Glow Kit and Sun Dipped. I love this damn thing. It was my first highlighter palette I ever bought. I'm keeping this one. Then I have Auntie Pat. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. I love Pat McGrath. You cannot get me to say anything bad. I mean, first of all, just the packaging alone is gorgeous. Um, I actually clipped the thing with my nail. I was so pissed. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. No, wrong one. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I love this palette. Um, I have a couple of more Pat McGrath palettes. They're amazing. This is a great neutral palette. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the Too Faced palette. Because I have this, and it's much better. So we're going to get rid of the chocolate bar palette. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to pass it along to somebody else. Um, I got, let's see, this is the Chris and Dominique Lemonade palette. This caught some hell because um, there was some something going on with the pressing of the first batch. But Kristen was, did a solid and refunded everybody their money and uh, sent a new one out, and you could keep the one that you got. This is a really nice palette. I enjoy this palette. It's not exactly what I want it to be. Um, some of the shades, the, the shimmers are a little disappointing, but overall I like it and I, I think Kristen Dominique is one of the few YouTubers that has a brand that isn't in some kind of shit. So uh, I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, then I have this monstrosity. Uh, as many of you know, I love Tarte. I'm a big Tarte fan. Um, and this is their holiday palette from last year. You got a bunch of um, face products. You got some shadow products. Um, this is great for traveling. I used to travel all the time. I haven't in a while. But when I do, this is something I'm going to take. It has neutrals. It has some pops of color. This is great. I'm going to keep it. So the only one that we're really getting rid of is the chocolate bar palette. I'm surprised. I mean, I've really used it. You can see I've really used it. But do I love it? Not really. Um, and maybe there's somebody that can use this that really wants it. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the review and rate for this is week 9 and 10. Um, I really like doing this. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And um, I have, I went from over 800 to I'm a little over 600, well, about 650. Uh, that's a lot of eyeshadow palettes I'm aware. Um, I'm okay with it, but there are some things that I want to use that I'm not using, like Auntie Pat. I've had this since July, and it was the first time I've used it. That's not cool. So we're working our way through our palettes, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for hanging out with me. If no one told you today that you're special and loved, you absolutely are. If you're having a rough time, tie a knot and hang on. It gets real. It gets different. It gets real fucking different. So hang on for the ride. I hope you have a great day.
Bye. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight